Hello, Blanca, Elizabeth. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. How are you? Nice. Well, I guess it's still raining a lot, you know. Raining everywhere. Yes. It is raining in the in the whole Salvador. Yes. Okay, 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 no problem. What can you tell me about this day? How was it for you? Hello, good evening. Hi, Edwin. Hi, teacher. Glad to see you again, sir. What? Glad to see you again. Le escucho cortado. Really? What about you, Blanca? Can you hear me very well or not? Salo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just teacher, fuerte y claro. Ah, ok. Que ahí alguien me está diciendo que me oye entrecortado. Aquí, aquí está lloviendo. Ya, yeah, eh, lo mismo acá. Aquí está lloviendo desde la hora que les puse en el grupo. Y sigue. Raining cat, cats and dogs, you know. Okay. Alex Humberto. Welcome back. Ah, hello, Alex. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. My good. Hey, how is the weather in the how area? Are, are you? In the area, uh, where do you live? How, how is the area? It is raining or not? Uh, no, right now, right now, no, not right now. Okay, no, okay, okay. Uh, but but it's it's cloudy, cloudy. It's it's very cloudy. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Okay, let me see the time that we have now, two minutes after eight. Okay, as you can see, this is the third week. We are start, starting the third week. That means that we are close to, after this week, we are going just to wait one more in order to finish this module. For the reason I would like to invite you to continue participating, and doing your homeworks because in that way you are going to get that succeed. Estamos ya entrando en la tercera semana. Significa que después de esta ya solo nos quedaría una. Invitarles a que hagan su mejor esfuerzo. Uh, sé que es un tanto duro el poder estar a esta hora después de trabajar todo el día. Sin embargo, para poder tener un mejor desarrollo profesional es necesario siempre eh, hacer un esfuerzo extra. Y de esa manera alcanzaremos algunas metas ya propuestas. Por lo tanto, les invito de, a partir de hoy de no faltar a ninguna sesión. Recuerden que la asistencia es muy importante para aprobar el módulo. Así es que el llamado para todos aquellos que han estado ahí 
con X o Y inconveniente, decirles de que, eh, pues, no es tan fácil, entendemos eso, pero eh, la asistencia, así como mantener la cámara encendida, es uno de los requisitos que al inicio pues, ya se les ha explicado y debemos de seguirlos para poder eh, estar cumpliendo con todos los requerimientos que nos está pidiendo eh, el sistema que estamos llevando. Así es que felicitarles porque, bueno, ya muchos han culminado todas las actividades para aquellos que se les hizo el llamado y aún no han hecho el midterm exam, eh, decirles que debemos de ir al día para que terminando eh, la última semana ya sus notas estén completas y así no estar esperando eh, cuadrar esos, esas notas, sino que de una vez terminamos viernes y el sábado deben de estar esas notas listas. Por lo tanto, pues yo les invito, sé que es muy difícil a veces, a veces salimos tarde, trabajamos extra y el cuerpo a veces no quiere mucho, pero debemos de programar nuestra mente y decirle por qué tiene que seguir hacia adelante, ¿verdad? Entonces yo les invito a que den su mejor esfuerzo. Al final tendremos la recompensa. Siempre debemos de ver el objetivo. Y al final del túnel siempre hay una luz y debemos irradiarnos de esa luz. Y es que, pues yo no me voy a cansar en, en, en decirles de que nunca es tarde para aprender. La edad no es eh, como una barrera. Siempre y cuando se tengan los ideales, las metas bien plantadas. Entonces, ahí vamos hacia adelante. Y eso lo he podido ver eh, en diferentes lugares. Bueno, a la edad que tengo todavía sigo eh, en otra carrera. Y a veces la parte psicológica al ver eh, a la par de uno un montón de jovencitos no deja de sentirse ahí eh, medio inquieto. Pero al mismo tiempo uno tiene un compromiso porque ya tiene más experiencia y tiene que sacar lo que he aprendido en todos los días anteriores. Por lo tanto, pues, debemos de seguir hacia adelante, ¿verdad? Así es que, con esas palabritas, we are going to start this day, and I hope that all of you can understand exactly my words in order that you can continue doing the best. I don't know if, you, if, if somebody wants to say something about it, I would like is I know that in some places it is raining and sometimes it is really difficult to have the cameras on, but try to do it because are part of our rules that we need to follow. Y también felicitarles, he estado viendo, bueno, ya pasé la mayoría de notas de el midterm, la mayoría tiene buenas, buenos reportajes. Eso significa de que ha habido un aprendizaje y eso pues, me satisface mucho porque lo que hemos estado hablando ha dado sus efectos. Y eso me, gusta ver, me gustaría ver al final, que todos aprobasen el módulo. Lamentablemente hay dos que tres... Eh, participantes que les he estado tratando de escribir, pero no he tenido una respuesta. El objetivo es de que iniciamos 20, terminemos 20, pero lamentablemente algunas veces pues hay situaciones en el camino que son tanto difíciles, cada uno conoce qué es lo que sucede y por eso les preguntaba eh, la sesión anterior si alguien conocía a, a las dos personas, pero lamentablemente no se pudo tener un contacto directo con ellos. Sin embargo, uh, we are keeping trying to test in order to help you to increase your skills. Okay, welcome back to all of you. Uh, today we are going to start talking about a new topic. 
And before I start uh, showing you the, my presentation, I would like to hear you, your voice, because I don't want to be right here just speaking alone. Porque algunas veces pienso que estoy solo con, la, con el ordenador, porque para que haya comunicación, uh, es necesario que haya un emisor y un receptor. Ya, yeah? I know that you are. Yes, teacher, uh, yeah, no. Yo sé que se están riendo y dicen, ¿verdad? Que ahí se quede el solo a hablar. <laughs> yeah. No, para nada. Ok. Entonces, uh, la idea es de que hablemos todos, ¿no? I give the interaction and you need to continue participating and do something. But some of you just wait until you hear your name in order to start speaking. Algunos solo esperan que mencione sus nombres para comenzar a hablar, but in this case, you don't, you don't have to wait. If I say, okay, I need that all of you speak English, uh, that means that you are going to do it in order that you can improve something, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, I, don't, I don't see some faces. No veo algunas caras conocidas. I don't know what is happening here. Okay, welcome back, Judith Portillo. How are you? How do you feel today? So it's good. Okay, ahí está su micrófono on. Pero no le oí nada, nada. Somebody's calling at you, okay? Uh, no, my mother. Hola. I hear a, a, a phone ringing. Okay, Alex, what can you tell me about my speech, you know? Yeah, teacher, I am... No, um, I don't. I don't see a Luis Martinez. This is my my, my coworker. Ah, it's okay. Maybe not coming, but but. Um, yeah, he has some problem because uh, he had he has an a meeting in meeting in, meeting in, business yeah meeting business yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Welcome back, Jose Eduardo. Welcome back. Darle la bienvenida a los que por algún motivo han estado ausentes en una clase, decirles que he estado siempre pendiente estando en ustedes y qué bueno verles de nuevo. Ok. Hey, teacher, gracias. Remember the, the, topic, uh, the topic that we were discussing the last class? Somebody wants to tell me something about it, please, in order to start with this class today. ¿Se recuerdan de qué tema estuvimos hablando en la clase anterior? Que yo creo que no me responde Gar porque Garbis. he hablado, porque he hablado uh, demasiado español. What the we do a, we do a car, car business. Ok. What was the main um, topic? The last class. Do you remember that? Um, Simple past question. Um, yeah, but... but Okay, something else, something else. Tell me. There is something else. What can you tell me? You remember something? No? Yes. The, um, no. No les creo, no les creo. At the end of the class, you were uh, working on that, you know? And you told me that was really difficult to, to get together with somebody else. And at the end, some of you wrote a conversation alone. Teacher, good evening. 
Marcela Castaneda, welcome back. Glad um, to see you again. Yeah. Um, in the last class, we we talk about some profession. Okay, we were talking about profession. Okay, what else? Then we we make uh, some a uh, conversation in pair in okay. pairs. Okay. And we talk about how we make in our in, in our uh, work. Okay. So why do you want to say something about it, please? I remember only that teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. ¿Quién más recuerda algo? No recuerdo. We were talking about small talk. Do you remember that? When somebody get close to you, how you are going to start with the conversation? If you are sitting on the bus, how you are going to deal with the next person to you, how you are going to start a conversation. Hey, hello, how are you? What's your name? My name is this. I work in this company. Where do you work? And that way. Do you remember that or not? Yes, teacher, I remember. Ah, y entonces, ¿qué está pasando? Because the rain, the rain, okay. Es por la lluvia. But I think that is because the rain. Pensemos que es la lluvia. Okay, okay. I'm going to share with you. This is my slides. Okay, we are going to talking about your company vocabulary and practice. Okay, what we are going to say about the company? We are going to start talking about uh, this question. Do you usually help your coworker with their touch? What can you tell me about it? Do you usually help your coworkers in their touch? Tell me, I want to see your faces. Somebody wants to answer, uh, to answer this question? I don't know if you can hear the turn and stir across the rain. No si en el font te oyen los truenos, the, uh, the weather that I have here in this area or not? Can you hear me or not? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I was worried about it. And I was checking my, my, my microphone. Because when I don't get an answer, that means that something is not working very well in my in my computer. But in this case, you say yes, that means that you are listening. Okay. In my in my case for moments and uh, the no listen to your voice. Uh, sometimes. Okay. But maybe it's uh, the connection because of the internet service. I don't know, it could be mine, it could be yours. Okay. I ask you a question and I would like to have an answer about this question, please. I know that you know how to answer this question, but I'm going to put it again in order that you can see it because I need that you talk about this. Do you usually help your co-worker with their cash? Could you, could you uh, give me an answer, please, about this question? In my, in my case, teacher, um, yes, I, I like, I like uh, to help uh, my uh, my coworker. Okay. Uh, but but only in my de my department because uh, department. because uh, este, we are a different department. Okay. I, I don't I, I don't know <laughs> the the, the, the Okay. I Thank don't know you. that I don't yeah. But in, in my case in my department yeah I, I, I like I like um um in help. By my coworker, any uh, 
whatever, eh, no, no importa, en, en, en que yo sea el, el, el boss, I don't okay. care, este, I, I like it, eh, help. Hey, you are the one, you are the one how to help the rest, because if you are in the head, I mean that you know everything and how to deal with everything. And in that yes. way, it's going to be better because according to the new rules in uh, human resources, it said that the, the boss is the one that is going to say, okay, let's do it. That means you are not going to say, do it this. No, you are going to say, let's do it. Yes, exactly. And that way yeah. you are going to show that you are a leader. Yeah. In the area where you are uh, working. Okay. Teacher. Hey, tell me, sir. What is their tax? Excuse me? ¿Qué significa their tax? Hey? Their tax. You write it down in the in the in the in the chat list. Tarea es. Te ayuden las tareas. Ah, you are talking about ah. tax. Tax. Ah, okay. En las en las tareas en los eh, en las obligaciones. Because we oh, okay. say we can say that the duties all depend different words that we can use it. Okay. 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 Somebody else wants to answer this question, please. What about you, Blanquita Elizabeth? In your case, tell me. Would you like to help your co-workers? They don't know how to do something? Yeah. Or not? Just tell me. <laughs> In my case, Okay. When you know how to do something, you help. Okay. When you know the procedure. Excellent. Uh, what about you, Francisca Elizabeth? In your case, do you like to help each other? Help other in your company when they don't know how to deal with something new? What can you tell me about it? Can you repeat the question, please? Excuse me? Can you repeat, repeat the, the question, question, please? Okay. Yes? In, in your uh, particular case, do you like to help your co workers when they ask you to do it? Mm, always. <laughs> In in my in my work, okay, are two my coworker and me. And okay. How we help? Okay, thank you. Somebody want to say something about it, please. Es que es que no es que no no lo puedo decir en inglés, pero como Nos dividimos las tareas diariamente. We divide every task, every day. Ah, okay. 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 Okay, okay. okay tell me. Tell me, somebody else wants to say something about it, please. Me. Very well. A question? Me. Uh, in, in my case, I like... Um, I like teach uh, other tests okay. for co-workers. In my work, I I start in in, in the work. Uh, I teach how to work uh, and carry out maintenance and report. Uh, the operation, operation report. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me see, I'm trying to get your assistant list here, but I'm having to. Peter. Tell me. I have a problem with my internet. You have a problem with your internet? 
Yes, I am in other house. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Okay, no problem, but right. no me había conectado. Okay. Okay, no problem. Trying to see the, the assistant, but I can do it. I don't know why. I cannot do this. Don't worry that I'm going to call by name. Don't worry about it. Okay. Somebody else want to say something about it? No? We have another question. We have another question. Do you often ask a worker to help you with your tasks? Do you often ask for workers to help you with your tasks? Tell me yes or no. Please. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hey, I, I ask you a question. Do you open ask for worker to help you with your tasks? Con frecuencia, usted le pide a su compañero de trabajo que le ayuden con sus tareas? Or not? Tell me. Ahora han venido así, chai. You don't want to speak, I don't know why. Porque ahora lo siento o tímidos. I don't know why. Para esta hoy. ¿Qué les estará pasando ahora? For me, yes, I help. Uh, I, uh, I pedir. Ask, request. Uh, uh, ask, request the, the, the help for the uh, other cash. For example, uh, uh, divide uh, the, the, the different items for the por tratar de hacer el trabajo uh, en español lo puedo decir okay, no, 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 no. trato de dividir todas las tareas para, 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 para hacer el trabajo equitativo ok hey, but imagine if you want to print uh, a report and suddenly uh, you will have problem with your printer uh, do you ask for help to somebody next to you or in the next office, or if you, that he or she can help you, how you do it in English. Okay, piensen en esa pregunta. ¿Cómo hacen ustedes para pedir ayuda? But in English, please. I'm going to call by name and in order to check up in the assistant. Okay, Alex Humberto is here. Better do in a hurry, please. Tratemos de responder. Si estamos ahí, lo vamos a hacer rapidito, por favor. Estaba teniendo ciertos problemas. Hello. In my case, I say, can you help me? Ah, I am very busy. Ok, estoy, experim estoy experimentando bajas en la energía. Si se, si se me se va el power a uh, tan pronto regrese yo voy a regresar. No sé si me están oyendo. Rosa. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. okay voy a pasarles lista lo más rápido posible. Alex Humberto. Emilia Castaneda, creo que. Es. Hey, teacher. Ok, Pero please. Yes, try to mute your microphones. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ok, Ana Judith. Present. Tanca. Present. Carlos. Present. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Present, teacher. Edwin Balmore. Present. 
Elmer. Present. Francisca. Present. Gonzalo. Present. Eduardo. Present teacher. Carla Marisol. Carla Marisol. Not here. Okay, uh, Catherine. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso is not here. Uh, Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Walter. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jesus Ariel. Jesus, not here. And Nestor. 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 Okay, okay. Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna call you on just once. La próxima vez solo una vez lo voy a mencionar para que estén atentos. Okay. Okay, let us continue talking. No problem. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. You know, I know that we do have problem and I have problem and all oh, we have problem. Okay, going back again to the question. Do you often ask a worker to help you with your task? And I ask you another question. How do you do it? And somebody say, I say, can I do can you do I? Yeah. Okay, let us continue with this. Okay, hold on. Second, I got some problem here. Okay, the second part is that we are going to practice the shared conversation with the father. Uh, the first question is, could you print out the, the budget file? Right away, Rita. Could you mind open I mean, the window? Sure, no problem. <coughs> you are having problem. Okay, I'm repeating again. Do you print out? Do you print out the budget file right away, Rita? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, I need I need that you practice. Uh, if you want, you you can make an, a screenshot because I need to get a breakout room and you are going to have uh, at least two minutes in order that you can talk with somebody else. But so please, I need that you go to the to your room, sign in room, please. Necesito que haga una captura porque vamos a hacer a una sala para mantenernos in two minutes, practicing with someone, this is very short. But what I want is that you see the way how we are going to pass the sentence. Yeah, that means that we are going to switch the way because if we are accustomed to use can, right now we are going to switch in, and we are going to work with mine. Yeah, that is the main part, that you switch the way that you should do it. We are going to do it, okay? Ya le tomaron la captura? Sí. Yes. Sure. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, 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 I don't believe you. I don't believe. You. Okay. Let me see. Okay, ahí estamos. We have 18, that means that we are going to have nine. Uh, so please, I need that you go there and practice with everybody else. Okay. Ahí tenemos en el Juan Carlos en Carlos. Eh, Run 2, Ana Beatriz, Marcela. Run 3, Marcela. I have two different places. Marcela me aparece en dos lugares. Está conectada con dos dispositivos, Marcela. Noticia. Um, Media hora. Ahí sí. Sure. Uh, no, sir. 
yo estoy conectado con dos dispositivos porque mi computadora no tiene cámara, entonces estoy buscando la cámara de mi teléfono. Ok, entonces ahí, ahí se agrega a en donde hay ahora que de alguien, eh, Walter en Francisca. Let me see where else I can find you here. Ok, here we go. So please practice. Go to your rooms, please, now. Do it now, do it now. I'm going to be here waiting for you. Teacher, no, me cayó. Ah, sí, ya me cayó. No, ya le cayó la invitación. You need to add to your room, sir. Walter and Alfredo, I don't know why you are here now. Walter is in room five. Walter tiene invitación para la sala cinco. Carlos Alfredo, let me see where you are. Carlos Alfredo. Walter, sala cinco. Vaya a la sala cinco. Carlos, I don't see you here. Ah, uh, Carlos, you need to go to room number one. Necesita ir al room number one, Carlos. Can you hear me, Carlos Alfredo? Hello, Carlos Alfredo. Can you hear me? Thank you. Room number three. Hello, 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 hello.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, who wants to start doing the, the short conversation? Like to do Gonzalo with uh, with Alex Humberto Saldana. Will you do it for me, please? Gonzalo, Gonzalo, can you start, please? Permítame, voy a buscar la, la captura. Ah, okay, okay, okay. If you want, I can share it with you. Rory Gonzalo. No, hombre, este volado está chiquito. No yeah, lo puedo yeah. hacer no grande. Ah, <laughs> yo creí que era el que estaba corto. <laughs> no, ya giró, va. Y me da un ¿Can you see it? ¿Can you see it there? Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, Gonzalo. Okay. Could you print out the budget file? Right away. Will you mean up and in the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. Remember, could you print out the budget file right away? And you can use your name. Would you mind? Remember, good, good. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, somebody else wants to do it. Teacher, how do you pronounce a way? Read right away. Right away. Away. Right away. Mm, thank you, teacher. Yep. Some, some, sometimes I have a hair away, away, but you know, all depend on. But in this case, right away. By the way. By the way. A different word used in a way, you know. Okay, somebody else? Yes. Okay. Francisca? Yes, it's just... Mm. Okay, do it with, with uh, let me see, with Blanca, please. Mm. Could you ah. bring out the boys' file? Would you mind opening the window? Okay, le oí allá a lo lejos, pero sí le oí. Okay, no problem. Okay, somebody else, what to do, please? Yes, cause the weather, I know. Okay. Alguien más? Me teacher. Okay, do it, do it. Me teacher. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it no, now. Okay, could you print out the budget file? Right, away, Rita. Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay. okay thank you. Remember that in this words, in this word in bold, the letter L is uh, silent. La L es muda aquí en estas palabras. Could, could be you. Yeah, could you print out this budget file? And right here, could you mind? Yeah, could you mind? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, somebody else want to say it? Please. Está cortico, nadie más quiere hacerlo, okay. Okay, let us continue work. Nadie quiere hacer la conversación. I don't know why. No sé, no sé. No sé por qué no quieren hacerla. Her. Okay, I, I can do it with Marcela. What my okay. partner. Okay, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Could you print out the budget file? Right away, Anna. Would you mind open the window, opening the window? Sure, no problem. Okay, thank you. 
In the task number three, we are going to think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace. And then we are going to compare the list you live with other. Okay, in this moment, please write down five requests. Van a pensar en cinco eh, cosas que necesitan uh, en su lugar de trabajo. Cómo pedirle ayuda a alguien. Las escriben and then we are going to discuss it. Okay? Okay, let us do it now, please. I want to see working. I want to see working. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, sir. No, nothing. Okay, if you don't know how to use the word request, I'm going to remember you that we are going to use requests. Uh, as a verb, as something politely. Request a new phone, please. Yeah, and that way you can use it. Use request as a noun. Also. Like something as or my boy usually has many requests for me. That means that we can use this word in two different ways. Podemos usar esa palabra en diferentes formas, ya sea como un verbo o como un nombre. You have it in your book. Bye, ma. Okay, but uh, before you write down the sentences that I need, please let us go and see how we are going to uh, use this expression. Because the common ways, uh, as you told me at the beginning, using can, but in this time we need to be really polite. No? Necesitamos ser como más uh, corteses en la pregunta. For that reason, we need to do something else. Using could, could you? Imagine that you need, uh, let me see. Imagine that you need uh, a pencil. How you are going to ask? It? How you are going to ask for it? Tell me. You need a pencil. How you are going to ask for it? ¿Cómo pediría que le presten pencil? For example, could could you reach me that tool? Could you? Could you reach me that tool? Okay. What about the bear? What bear are you using in order to ask for that? Reach. Reach. That's me. Del de alcanzar. Uh, could you reach? Yeah. Mm, but well, all depends 
if you are in your office, if you uh, ask to somebody how to reach you, okay? yeah, to be in that way. This question you, is is, my, is in my department. It's in my 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 office. In your office, could you get the pencil for me, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you borrow me? Okay. Okay. In that way. Well, so if you need, uh, imagine this question that you are printing some report and suddenly you run out of paper and you need more paper. How you are going to ask somebody else to do it? Could you give me some paper? Excuse me? Could you give me some paper? Yes, or it's gonna be better to bring me, because remember that you don't have more in your office. You get more paper for me, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, tell me. In this, in this case, uh, we we can use and uh, the the uh, and uh, to like to that to like to no. Could you give me an example? Um, to like to um, maybe. you like to take um, take that or take uh, I don't know porque es, eso es, es como también no es, no es este es como más más educado más porque como si no conozco mucho a la persona que le estoy diciendo si le gustaría tomar eso o, o llevar eso pues de un lado hacia otro No puedo usar ese, el to like to. Would you like to do me a favor? You'd like to do me a favor? Yeah. You send me un favor? But all the pen, all the pen. Yeah, the uh -huh, yeah, un favor. That you are sure. going to, yeah. And the way that you are going to request help. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, let us go ahead. Just the time is fine. Let me share with you this. Okay. Um, in this case, we are going to talk about how to use could you and I would, uh, would you mind? Okay, pay attention about this place. Just could or would you mind to ask for like a request? That means that we are going to use could and would you mind to ask for like a request? And we have some example. Could, could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? By the way, you contact the tax firm, no problem. Okay, uh, so an example here, how you can use food. And at the same time, we have something here, a star a request with put you followed by the big form or the ING form. Which one is the right? ¿Cuál es la correcta in this case? The base form. Okay, thank you plus any complement phrase, okay? Our uh, answer to request with could you are not normally, yes, I could, or yes, I can. The expected answer are the action that are requested or short answer like the ones in the example above. Se comprende esa explicación? No. Yes. Oh. Comprende? Comprende. Yes, teacher. 
What about the rest? Answer to request with could you no, 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 no. Que no me está oyendo quién viendo. Blanca Elizabeth, Blanca Elizabeth. Can you hear me, Blanca Elizabeth? Sí, le escucho, pero bien suavecito. Bien suavecito. What about sí. the rest? ¿Cómo me oyen los demás? Necesito un reporte. Por mí, Cleo. Yo bien. Nice, nice. Y estaba lloviendo, dice. Me too, teacher. Ok, 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 ok. Some, in some place it's raining, teacher. Yeah, in some, some areas, some areas it's raining. Still raining, ok. Ok. But I'm, I'm, I'm here again because I would like... I want to be really sure about this. Answer to request with could you are not normally yes I could or yes I can. La respuesta a solicitudes con could you no son normalmente las que usamos como yes I could or yes I can. The expected answer, la respuesta, las respuestas esperadas son las acciones que se solicitan o que están solicitadas. Or short answer like the ones in the example above. Example here, could you call me later? Podría llamarme más tarde. Entonces no decimos, yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Sino que es la respuesta esperada. Sure, no, I can do it. Could you make a copy of this paper right away? Could you contact the tech support? No problem. Okay. And okay, teacher. at the right side, we have, would you mind calling the plant manager? Mind calling the plant manager right away. Would you mind getting an appointment with the human resource for me in a minute? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Okay, I need that you understand this expression too. Would you mind? Imagine that suddenly, uh, let me give you this example. Suddenly you are on the bus and, and, and you, uh, the weather is really hot and, and you need to open, but somebody else is next to the window. Ask how you are going to say, would you mind if I open the, the window? It's gonna be in the right way. It's gonna be polite. Would you mind? Would you mind opening the window, please? Yeah, it's gonna be better instead of using other kind of uh, questions. ¿Se comprende ese ejemplo? Yes, teacher. Los demás, ¿qué dicen? Yes. Que necesito que todos entendamos esa, esa parte. Que a la hora de, eh, del homework es para todos. Okay, start our request with could you mind plus the VA form or the ING form? Which one? You are going to use it. Ya se vino el agua. Se vino el agua. Okay. Please, I need that you follow me. Start our request with would you mind class, the pay form, or the IGNG form? Which one? According to the example given. The IGNG form. Okay, the IGNG form, okay. After uh, the word mind, you are going to use IGNG form. Que les quede bien clarito que después de la palabra mind, when we are requesting something, you are going to use IGNG form. Okay, of the member plus any complement phrase. The expected answer for request with would you mind are not usually, no, I would, I would not mind. Las respuestas esperadas a los solicitados cuando se usa would you mind no son usualmente no, I would not mind. But 
are the action that are requested. Son las acciones que se han solicitado or short answer like the ones in the example about ejemplo, would you mind following the plan, the plan manager right away? Would you mind getting an appointment with the human resources for me, please? In a minute, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Now a problem. Would you mind answering the phone for me, please? Yeah. Okay, and that way you are going to start uh, requesting some help. Okay, question, question about this topic, please. I need that you be clear, really clear about this topic because later on we are going to have a, an exercise about it. Okay, preguntas? It's clear, teacher, it's clear. Let, 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 let me see your faces. Espera que se me durmieron, no? Ah, okay, I, I can see you, I can see you. <laughs> Claudio Iván, Carlos Alfredo, Francis, Marcela, eh, Walter, Carlos. Sure. Hello. Uh, here the, the light is um, turned off. The light. The power. The power went off. Yes. Yes. Okay. I have problem with the light. Yeah. Most of the. La mayoría de mis compañeros en los lugares donde ellos están eh, impartiendo las clases también se, se ha ido la energía. Okay. Sí, aquí está lloviendo bien fuerte. It is raining really, really hard, okay? Cat and dogs, it raining cat and dogs there. ¿Ya entendieron esa expresión, verdad? Las que les dejé ahí. En español es di diferente. Está lloviendo, ¿cómo decimos aquí? It's raining hard. No, 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 pero, pero en español, ¿cómo decimos cuando está lloviendo demasiado fuerte? Está lloviendo. Acantarada. Acantarada. Ah, está lloviendo acantarada. Acantarada. Okay. Okay, eso es propio de la región nuestra. But in English, we have something to say. That is raining cats cat, and dogs. Cat and dog. yep. What? It's raining? It is raining cats and dogs. Es una... Pero, Es una expresión idiomática propia del idioma. Que cuando nosotros la traducimos a, al español no le sentimos lógica. Están lloviendo gatos y perros, dice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, the American, yeah. they, they use it a lot, you know. Así es que se la van aprendiendo, please. And next time you are not going to say, está lloviendo a cántaros. Van a usar la correcta. Okay. Okay, let me check up again the attendance because it is time to do it now. Le damos la asistencia si alguien se me voló por ahí o si apareció alguien más. Esa expresión se la dejé ahí en el en el en el chat. Algunos la vieron, otros no la vieron. Bueno, ya el cuadro de notas ya casi está, eh, casi, casi está un 50. Hay algunos todavía que me faltan, que no han entregado algunas actividades. Así es que invitarlos a que puedan hacerlo. Ok, let me see. Alex. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Judith. Ana Judith. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Aún no se ha activado esta cosa. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Edwin. Elmer. Present teacher. Present. Francisca. Present Edwin. Okay. Francisca. 
Gonzalo. I'm here. Okay, uh, Jose Eduardo. I'm here. Uh, let me see. Carla Marisol. Catherine. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. Luis Manuel. Walter. Present teacher. Walter. Present teacher. Jesús Ariel. No hay. Y Néstor Iván. Néstor Iván se fue. Ok. Muy bien. Okay, 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 let me see. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, let us continue working on this. Okay, let, let us see another example what this. Okay. We have asking someone to do something for you. First of all, you can use do you mind plus the verb ing. It's like a gerum when you want to ask someone to do something for you. In this case, do you mind means do you have any problem? Listen this, pay attention about this. In this case, do you mind means, el do you mind significa, or is it what I decir, do you have any problem? Or does it bother you too? For example, if you ask to somebody, do you mind closing the window? Sería como, if we use this one, ¿tienes algún problema si cerramos la ventana? Yeah. Does it bother you too? For example, this, do you mind helping me with my homework? Do you mind helping me with my homework? Or do you mind smoking somewhere else? Do you mind smoking somewhere else? What about this one? I don't know if you're in your company, uh, you have rules about this. No, in my, in my company, no. No, no rules? No. That means that you can smoke in everywhere? No. No? My company, no. It's dangerous for the care. Yeah, yeah, for that reason, I am asking you that, this question. I don't know if you have a special area where people can smoke or not. In my work, no, teacher. Okay, it's, it's better because it's really bad for health. Smoking is not really good. Okay. Okay, based on this example, could, could you create some uh, referring to your work in, in, in the places where you stay the whole day? Hello. Hola. Sorry, teacher. No sé si con los ejemplos que ya les di, you are able to create your own question. Basado en uh -huh. los ejemplos que ya di, quiero ver si son capaces de crear sus propias preguntas relacionadas en el lugar donde cada uno de ustedes está. Like the ah, example okay. that I gave you, do you mind answering the phone, please? Okay. 
Tell me. Um, teacher, my... for example, um, do you mind helping me with this client? client? Because it's very client. Yes, because client is customer. Very, okay. Because, because it's very problematic. Yeah, it's very talkative. That usually when somebody works in a, in, a, in a call center, you know, sometimes it's really hard. Yeah, yeah because yeah, that, uh, that... you are trying to solve the problem, but the people is trying to to tell you everything about the company and about, about the product, and you are trying to explain him or her, but they don't understand what you are trying to do. Yeah, I know that. It's really hard. Yeah, teacher, and okay. I think that uh, some co-workers and hi, I don't know how to say this. Okay, tell me in Spanish. No um, siempre hay compañeros que a veces saben más que uno, entonces a veces yeah. siempre los terminan ayudando. Yeah, in all cases we have people that they uh, have more experience and they know they have you know, their skills and at the end they help us to resolve yeah, yeah. any problem. Okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And we need to be humble in order to learn uh, when we don't know something. And we need to request for help. No sabemos you, hacer algo, debemos de ser you. humildes y okay. pedir ayuda. And that way we are going to learn how to do it the next time. Okay? Okay. Somebody, somebody Teacher, in my, in my case, um, for example, um, do you mind in during of the a condition air? Ah, okay, you miss something, you miss something. Te hizo falta algo. Revise la oración. Do you mind? Yeah, okay. Do you mind? Hasta ahí estamos bien. And I after... wrote that one too. Excuse me? I wrote that one too and I, and I wrote... Plus verb, Angie. Mind, mm. turn off the air conditioning. Do you mind? Turn off. Okay, what about ING? Turning off. Yeah, remember that is a this, there is a rule that we are going to use after month. We are going to use agency. Do you mind turning off? Uh, yeah, you see, please. Oh, yeah, it's plus ing. Of, yeah. Yes, girl. We need to take care about. Some yeah. questions tan sencillas, but uh, in the end, we need to take into account because our rules, and we need to follow the rules. Okay. Okay. So, uh, another uh, another example, please. Alguien más? Se me durmieron. What about asking for permission? On the other hand, when you want to do the action or you want a third person to do the action, you can do it this way. Por otra parte, cuando usted quiere hacer la acción o que una tercera persona haga la acción, usted puede hacerlo de la siguiente manera. Do you mind me closing the window? Do you mind Jack helping me with my homework? Do you mind us leaving the party early tonight? Take a look at this expression, please. Póngale atención, por favor, a estas preguntas. And, and I mean that you keep in mind. As you can see, the, the main verb is in, in cursive letter, plus in helping living. And this is a different way how to Teacher, do teacher, I, I, este, I, I listen in another occasion that for example, do you mind me uh, open the open the door for me, please? I don't know if for me and al final. But if you already mentioned this one here, you don't have to use it at the end. Do you mind me opening? Si uso el mío acá, no tengo por qué usar el for me al final. 
No, ya no, porque, porque está cayendo en una redundancia. Sí, porque es, sí, bueno, de este mí sí no lo he escuchado, pero sí lo he escuchado en unos gringos esta palabra, de, de hacerlo, como que hace esto por mí. Yeah. But, it's, but in this case, it's different. It's saying that yeah. way. Hey, do you mean me? Do you, do mind, you mind me open the door? Opening, opening. 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 Yeah. Okay, what else? Do you mind use tor turning off the light when not used? But in this case, you are talking about yourself or somebody else? Use. Do you mind use? This one. Do you mind? Do you mind us? Yes. And do you mind us living the parallel? Okay. Okay, all depends in the concept that you are going to use it. But we need to be careful about this, this kind of expression, okay? Okay, piensen en más oraciones que van a usar muy pronto. Let me check out my lesson plan in order to be sure that I'm covering all the topics. Okay. Ok, ok, ok. Piense, 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 piense. Hey, you need to think, think, think about what expression that we can use. What about if you ask uh, to somebody, do you mind if I turn off the TV? Imagine that in your office you have a TV and suddenly you need to talk about something really complicated. And somebody asks you, do you mind if I turn on or turn off the TV? What can you answer about this question? Or if suddenly somebody have a problem and imagine uh, that got a phone call from his or her house and she or he need to leave the world early. How you are going to ask that, those questions? Te necesita irse temprano. ¿Cómo haría esa pregunta? Remember that we are going to use do you mind? Okay, tell me. ¿Cómo sería? Hola. Teachers, es could, could you? No, I just... Oh, you are going to ask. ¿Cómo haría esa pregunta? Me quiero ir temprano. Yeah. Would you mind if I leave early? No. Would yeah, could, could, early? could be in that way. Could be in, early. That could be. Could, could you repeat again, please? Yo diría, I can, I can go early. <laughs> no. Could, could you repeat again, please, David? Could you? What? Could, could, you? You, could you repeat again, please? Would you mind if I, if I leave in early? Okay. It, it's going to be sound, uh, sound better in this way. Do you mind if I leave work I leave. early today? With, with no ing yeah do you mind yeah no ing because you are using a condition mm. yeah we, we need to take care about that too ojo con eso si van a usar un condicional ya no van a usar el ing 
Porque ahí estamos diciendo, do you mind if I leave? Ya le quitamos el sentido de lo anterior. Do you mind if I leave where early today? Ahora, Entonces, si no... Puede decir sin el if. Si no, le si no le ponemos el condicional, entonces ahí sí. Do you mind? I live in early. Ah, pero fíjese que siempre vamos a tener el, el problema ahí porque ya la oración queda, no quedaría completa. Ajá. In, this, in this case, we are going to use it in this way. Do you mind if I live? I live. For early today. Teacher, yo hice una acá con el, con el do you mind us. Me ask. Dice, do you mind us going of vac vacation? Do you mind? Us going of vacation. Okay. Is correct? Yeah, sounds better. Okay. But we need to, we need to be careful about And the boss is going to say, I'm sorry, we are too busy today. Why you are going to answer? Si le pide permiso al jefe, le dice, me puede temprano jefe ahora? Y le dice, I'm sorry, we are too busy today. How you are going to deal with this situation? Teacher. Hello. If I say, uh, did you mind? Uh, I finish. Early today, uh, I, do you mind? Uh, I finish if uh, I, work today. If I finish my assignment. If I finish, oh, okay, I, okay. I, but in, the, in, in those cases, we are uh, we are putting a condition. Okay. Yeah, and we and also in another level, we are going to study or you are going to study with somebody else that uh, sometimes all depend on the way that we are going to pronounce this, uh, do you mind? And that way is gonna be the meaning because with that hardware intonation to show someone that they are annoying or bothering, yeah, in this way. Do you mind means you are annoying me or I want you to leave me alone or something like that, all depend. If you know, anyone who might be interested in this point, uh, we need to help. Why not help them out? Just share some ideas about this, but sometimes it's really, really difficult because we, can, we tend to confuse if we don't know exactly what we are um, dealing to. Okay. Okay. okay, what about could? Remember that we started too. Okay, let us continue with something now here. We already talked about this. Okay, let me see what else. Wow. Jesus, why, what's happening? Okay. Okay, you can also use do you mind if, uh, we already talked about this, do you mind if I sit here? Uh, we were talking about these examples. Uh, do you mind if I close the window? Do you mind if I smoke here? Somebody asked me about this. In this case, you are not going to use ING because you are using the condition if. Yeah, is that clear for you? Lo que me estaba preguntando alguien, aquí está. Vamos a usar do you mind if más la, el complemento, yo no. Ok. Aló, ¿están ahí? ¿O no están ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, in the exercise number six, you are going to write polite request. You receive or give at your workplace. Let us write down now. You are going to write down polite request you receive or give at your workplace. Okay? 
and then we are going to chat it. And try to keep uh, in mind the rules that we are using, the, the rule that we studied this day. Yes. ¿Me comprendieron qué es lo que les pedí que hiciéramos? ¿Sí o no? No, no teacher. No. Ok, ok, I like that. I like that because uh, me gusta que me den respuesta de lo que les pregunto. Y estén muy claros. Ok, usted va a escribir preguntas corteses eh, que a menudo ustedes reciben su trabajo o que usted está en el lugar a donde trabaja. ¿Sí? Como así. Eh, imagine that uh, the person in charge of cleaning your office. No lo escucho, teacher. No lo escucho, teacher. Ok, ok, ok. Cerremos el micrófono, por favor, ahí donde, donde está viniendo el feedback. Let me do it myself. Let me do it myself. Let me, it myself. Let me see. I did, I did, okay, I, I did really sorry. Okay, uh, imagine that uh, you are having a problem in your office, the person in chair of cleaning uh, forgot to take out the, the garbage and you are going to ask her to do it. How you are going to deal with that? Como le diría a la muchacha se le olvidó sacar la basura de, del recipiente? Usted, Va a ser muy cortés para decirle que le saque la basura de ahí. How you are going to do it? O la va a llamar y le va a decir con así. Con... Get out, get out here, the lo voy a decir. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. Be serious about, be serious about. How you are going to deal with this situation, please? Or uh, imagine that suddenly you have a, a guest in your office and, and, y la muchacha que trae, la, la que ofrece el agua y, y todo eso se le olvidó. How you are going to ask her to do it? But in a polite way. Vamos, señores, despiértense. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Son situaciones que viven a diario en sus oficinas. So please, don't tell me that you don't know how to do it, how to deal with this. Could you help me with the my dress? Could you help Picture. me with? Could you help me with? With the trash. Okay, tenemos una forma. Otra. Tell me another way. Vamos. Una, una forma amable, teacher, de pedir. Eh, ¿Cómo lo haría usted? Do you mean if, Hagamos, digámoslo eh, así. ¿Cómo lo haría usted? Pero yo es. Eso no es la pregunta que usted dijo que hiciéramos, sino es otra. Do no, you no, mean no. if you close the door of the office? Could you repeat again, please? Repítamela, por favor, y pónganle atención los demás. Do you mean if you close the door of the office? The office. Ok. Pregunto. ¿No será mejor usar cualquiera de las dos expresiones que vimos hoy para hacer esa solicitud? ¿Cuál sería? Be careful with the facts. Be, be, be careful. Be careful. Walter, Walter. 
Teacher, en la, en, con, por ejemplo, este, lo, en lo de la basura, pues se podría usar el do you, do you mind me? Pero no sé cómo es llevar la basura. Este... Bueno, que, consider... bueno, que cuando, cuando yo digo esto, do you mean? Es como que si algo, le estoy pidiendo a alguien que haga algo por mí, dice, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, o sea, no es mi responsabilidad esa. <ríe> Entonces no le puedo decir así, ¿verdad? Yeah, you, 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 you can... Uh... You can use me. Uh, let, okay, if you, well, well, what I want is that you can uh, use the example that I gave you. Ana Beatriz, want to say something about it? No? No. Okay, okay. Okay, hurry up, guys, please. ¿Cómo le diría a la muchacha que le saque la basura? Would you take off the garbage yeah okay that is the uh, the most common way how to say it could you please yeah okay sencillo no nos compliquemos no estemos buscando it's palabras it's okay blanca elizabeth alvarez uh, así would you take off the face dress please Could you take off the trash, please? Do you take out the trash, please? Okay, could be in that way too. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Uh, excuse me, do you help me? What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because in, uh, uh, listen to that question. Do you help me? Ojo con esa pregunta. ¿Está solicitando ayuda? Yes or no? Tell me. Quiero ver si yes. están seguros de lo que estamos diciendo. Yes. yes. Okay, ¿qué dicen los demás? Yes, teachers. Do you help me? Mm, okay, ¿alguien más? Recuérdense que están solicitando so ayuda. Es, I can, es, I can, ya. Yeah. No, entonces no, teacher, no, no está solicitando ayuda. ¿Están solicitando ayuda ahí? No, no, teacher. ¿Cómo sonaría mejor? Can I help you? Can, uh, can I help, help me? Mm, no. Help me. ¿Qué dijo? Tell me. Okay, I'm going to show you something. I, I, I consider you work, this. You work with me. Teacher, maybe, would you? Ah, could you? You would me. Help me to take out the garbage, please. Ah, okay. Could you give me a hand with the garbage, please? Tantas formas que hay para poder pedir que nos ayuden. But I'm going to share something with you. I'm going to share something else with you. Okay. Because I consider that you need it. I'm going to do it now. No quiero que se me vayan a confundir con lo que les voy a mostrar. Please. Lo que sí es que necesitamos ampliar un poco el vocabulario. Y andamos una biblioteca andante en la computer. Okay, being polite. Why are we polite? Could you open the door, please? Okay, take a look at the pictures. What can you see in this picture? Tell me, somebody wants to tell me something? What can you see in this picture? The right one, please, the right one. He had books. No, this one, at, 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 the, at the right side, please. La que está a la derecha. Ah. Uh. The What persons. can you infer about the picture? 
What is the meaning of this picture? She's gelling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and for the reason the question is, why are we polite? Because sometimes in some places, in some, in some companies, uh, the chair manager used to yell to the rest of people. And according to human resources, that is no right to do it. We need to look for the most polite way how to ask uh, the crew to do something now, like this example. Could you open the door, please? Now, Mary, if you are the boss. How are polite to each other? Take a look at that, at this picture. What happened here and what happened here? Yeah. We have uh, two different scenarios. What can you tell me? I need that you tell me something about these pictures. Hola, se me durmieron los demás. No, o sí. No. But tell me something about it. What can you see? Teacher. According to the question. Meaning? Okay, tell me. What is the meaning of the polite? Polite is cortés. No, polite is cortés. <laughs> Politic is different. Politic is different. Polite is cortés. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. How are we polite to each other? Okay, I'm going to put the next one because you don't want to participate. Okay, let me see. I need to move something here. I'm not to see very well. Okay. How do we ask for the time? Most of the people used to say, what time is it? What time is it? Yeah, it's too tired. It's rude. It's different if we say, could you tell me the time, please? Yeah, could you tell me the time, please? But there, there are a more ways how to say it. Okay, would you mind telling okay, me the time, teacher. please? As you yeah, can this see. is this is a. Do you mind? Good. Would you mind telling me the time, please? As you can see in this example, we are following the same rule because we are using as G. Yeah, after mine. We have two more ways how to ask for the time, but we have way. Excuse me, I wonder if you tell could me. tell me the time. Tell me, tell me. Entre más cheque va teniendo es más cortés. Be sure. Okay. How do you say telling? Telling? Yes, telling. En español. Uh, yes. Podría decirme la hora. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. And, and this one is the most polite. Excuse me, sir or madame. I'm terrible sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you would mind telling me the time. As long as it's not trouble, of course. No le gustaría mejor usar la última. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ahí la tienen, ahí se la voy a compartir para que se, le, se les impregnen sus mentes. I'm going to read it again. Excuse me, sir, or madame. I'm terrible sorry to bother you, but I wonder if you would mind telling me the time. As long as it's not trouble, of course. Okay. Eso, no me Eso no me gustaría mucho a mí porque escucha como que soy terrible, no sé cómo, ¿eh? No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible sorry. But I wonder, me preguntaba, if you would mind telling me, si no le importaría decirme la hora. As long as it is not trouble, of course. Siempre y cuando no sea un problema. Now we need to, we need to learn different ways how to speak with people, you know? Necesitamos aprender algunas expresiones que ya son fuera de lo común. That is the main purpose of this course. And for the reason I'm sharing you this, what about these polite requests? We can use can, could, or would you open the window, please? Would you possible 
and you are going to use the word please too. Yeah, do you mind? Would you mind? Okay, somebody, I need uh, somebody give me a hand with this one. I need that you create your own sentence about this letter C and letter D. I wonder, Nin, me preguntaba, I wonder if you mind. Okay, necesito dos ejemplos, dos voluntarios. Yeah. Solo dos necesito, no more than two, please. Yeah. Not necessarily have to be in your work. Imagine that you are talking with somebody else and you are going to say, would you mind telling me the truth, please? If you want to be sure about something. What about the letter D? I wonder if you mind. Yeah. Imagine that you want to talk uh, something really, uh, how can I say, really dangerous or really important. And if you have your secretary with you and you are going to ask, I wonder if you mind uh, going out, please because I need to talk with this person about this topic, I don't know. But I need that you put in practice all this expression because in that way you are going to increase your vocabulary. Yo necesito de que vayamos incluyendo este tipo de expresiones en su vocabulario. ¿Para qué? Para que ya dejemos eso de que you, ya. Vayamos cambiando el estilo. Because that is the main purpose. Teacher, okay. would you letter. mind would you mind making a cup the tea the tea, please? Ah, would you mind would you mind making a cup of, of tea, please? Ah, okay. Alex, Alex. Oh, teacher, oh, yeah, in, in the, the letter D. Is, letter D? Is in, is, uh, the, you apostrophe is, is, is the good, or no? Yeah, yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. I wonder if you would mind. If you would mind. That also could be good. Be good, yeah. I, I wonder, wonder if you would. Se pronuncia you? If you would if you, you mind. If you mind. Mind. Ok, espero que vayan tomando apuntes. It's going to be part of your exam. Like in the university, it's going to be part of the parcial. Ok. What about this one? Can, could, or could you open the window, please? Could you possible open the window, please? Do... Or would you mind opening the window, please? I wonder if you mind opening the window, please. What different way how you can request to do something? It's cool. Yeah. Miren, ahí tienen cuatro formas diferentes. Y entre más abajo vamos más por ahí. Es decir que este que aparece primero, ese Ken, no está entre los por ahí. Okay, what else? Teacher, I have a question. Okay, let me, let, okay, do uh, For example, if someone tell me, uh, could you open the window, please? And what is the answer? Yes, I could. No, I already explained that part. The action yeah, is gonna be- Yeah, but I don't understand this. Okay, this okay, 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 okay. The action is gonna be the, the answer or the question. La acción va a ser la respuesta a esa pregunta. En ese caso, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? ¿Cuál sería la acción? Sure. Open the window. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure, yeah. no problem. Yeah, no problem. Why not? Different way how to say it. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay me gusta que hagan las preguntas que tengan para que les quede claro. It can, it can be um, a non-specific 
answer. Para mí, para mí, para mí. Ok, por favor, por favor. Eh, ¿Eh? Marcela. Dame chelada. Y el poco miembro, el poco aquí. My goodness, these people is talking about micheladas. Will you please turn, turn off your uh, microphone, please? Okay, lady, will you repeat your question, please? Yeah. Okay. Um, in this case, we don't have a specific answer for this question. We can uh, respond, response, um, for example, yes, I can, or sure, I can do it. Um, something like that. Ok, en español y a colores. Generalmente, este tipo de preguntas, como ya lo expliqué antes, no usan eh, esa forma de respuesta, sino que la respuesta es la acción que vamos a realizar. Si alguien le dice, do, would you mind opening the window? And you are going to say, oh, or I'm going to do it. Yeah, sure. No necesariamente vamos a tomar la, 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 el auxiliar acompañado de, de un pronombre personal. Eso es okay. lo que me... Ok. Ok. ¿Otra pregunta? Está lloviendo ahí donde Walter. Ok, look at the following photos and make requests. Take a look at the, at the picture. Take a look at the picture. Could, could, you, could, you, could you read what, what happened here? Somebody wants to read it, please. I need a volunteer. Volunteer, please. Somebody wants to read it. Could you keep the noise down? Noise, noise. Ah, noise. Eh, yeah. como R. <laughs> Nurse. Could you keep the Could noise keep down? The noise down. Yeah, and the old man say what? Okay, at, at the left side, ask, can, could, good you? Let it be, could be, could you possibly? Possibly. Yeah, let it see, do, do you mind or could you mind? How you are going to, to ask the, the, the request using this kind of sentences that I have at the left side? Otra variante, ¿cómo lo podría hacer con las opciones que tengo al lado eh, izquierdo de la pantalla? Eh, Está fácil. Call, call you possible. Eh, can, can the noise down? Why in that way? Take a look, take a look of, of this one. Letter B. Okay. Could? Could. Could you possible? Okay. Could you possible? Can the noise down? Ah. Keep. 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 Keep the noise down. Okay. Veamos cómo suena mejor. Or oh, would you mind keeping the noise down? Or I wonder if you would mind keeping the noise down. ¿Cuál elegiría usted de acuerdo a cómo se oye? Letter D. Ok, ya se me durmieron. Ya se me durmieron. Yeah, teacher, letter B. For me, letter B. Let it be. Let us see the picture. What? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah? What? I don't understand. Is there? Homework. Yeah? I wonder if you mind explaining me the homework, please. What else? I need more examples about this. Okay. Necesito que alguien haga una usando eso. Teacher, no. how do you pronounce quiet? Quiet. Quiet. 
fight. Let's fight. Okay. I need that you create the, the, the question phase. Uh, only one, only one, would, please. No more than one. Could, could you, you speak quiet, please? Better? Better? A. Letter A, letter B, letter C. Which one? A. Letter A. Okay. Quiet, please. Okay, what else? What else want to want to do it in a different way, please? I need May, to... maybe lady. I wonder if could my keeping quiet, please. I wonder if you mind. Mm -hmm. If you mind keeping quiet, please. Quiet, please. Okay. ¿Cuál es el verbo principal ahí? Quiet. Okay. Okay. Entonces. Mm. Yeah, could be in that way. For me, can 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 you quiet, please? Why do you que esa bueno? What about this one? How you are going to let somebody stop smoking? How you are going to say it? And try to hurry up because it is raining and start to rain again here. Ya comenzó la lluvia otra vez. And I'm crossing my finger in order that the power don't go wow. out. Could you possible don't smoke in here, please? Which letter? B. Letter B? Could you possible? Ya, ya vi que le ha gustado el letter B. No, no me quieren otra letra más. A y B. Maybe. And I, need, and I need that you switch your mind and try to use another expression. Okay, continue. Teacher, maybe will you smoke, smoke in other place, please? Ah, okay. De otra forma. You don't can smoking here, please. It's gonna be better if you say. Hmm. Going out or whatever. Okay. What about that one? Oh. What does mean? Hello. Would you mind? See? Tell me. Um. Take a look at the man question. If you are requesting money, he say, no, I don't have any, any money in my pockets. I sending me some, some dollars, you know. How about this one? Sure. Hello. 
call me. Okay, let me see if you are there. Say hi, my baby. Ya no los veo, ya no los veo. Pero hay un ruido raro. Yeah, somebody have a microphone. It's, uh, it's open. It's on. The microphone está encendido. Okay, um, I'm going to have a, let me see, three minutes in order that you can uh, ask uh, some requests using good or with your mind. Elija a un compañero y usted le hace la solicitud de algo. Le doy en lo que paso lista, ustedes piensan en la pregunta que le van a hacer al compañero. Tienen que ser, let me see, tengo 17, 8 que van a hacer preguntas y el resto va a responder. Ok, let us do it now, please. Let me try to get the, the attendance now. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then no problem. We are having. Puedo hacer mi pregunta? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. As soon as I finish calling you by name, I'm going to start. Yes, yes. You are going to choose your victim, the one you are going to to ask the question. Elija la víctima a quien le va a hacer la pregunta, por favor, para que participen todos y no se me estén durmiendo. Okay. Uh, Ana Judith. Ok, hold on. I'm going to, voy a pasar la lista primero. Alex. Present teacher. El que no responde en dos segundos perdió. Ana Beatriz. No present. Ok, thank you. Ana Judith. Present. Blanca. Present. Carlos. Present. Okay, uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Claudio. Present, teacher. Edwin. Present. Elmer. Present. Francisca. Present, teacher. Gonzalo. I'm here. Jose Eduardo. Present, teacher. Eh, Carla. Carla, la una. Carla, la dos. Catherine. Present teacher. Alonso. Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Uh, Walter. Present teacher. Jesus Ariel. Esther. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need somebody wants to start asking the question, please. Yes, Anna, you did. Oh, okay, Pero, Anna, you did. You need to you, answer the question. Could you tell me the time, please? Okay, uh, open the, the question. Oh, with the question. Si la pregunta le falta algo a la persona que le están haciendo la pregunta puede ayudarle a, eh, y le corrige la pregunta y quien va a responder va a ser el otro. Ok. okay. I need that you take into account the, the phrase that, we, I, the, the I explain. que tomen en cuenta lo que ya les expliqué. Yes, I could. <laughs> It is ten uh, two minutes. Okay. Hello. Okay. Se Somebody else, please. Somebody else. Do it, do it, do it, do it now because most of the time. Alguien más. Me, teacher. Okay, Francisca, Me? Elizabeth. A quien? Uh, Gonzalo Valle Valle. Okay, Gonzalo Valle Valle. 
Gonzalo, can you help me wash the car? Uh, sure. Listen, listen the question. Listen the question. Okay. Cambiamos, cambiamos la primera palabra. Ah, okay. Tell, tell her how you are going to do. Ah, I, I don't remember. Could, <laughs> could, <laughs> could you tell? Ay, ya se me olvidó, teacher. Could you help me? Wash the car. Sure, I can do it for you. Ojo con esa pregunta. Teacher, si dije, could you help me yeah. to wash? Eva, tú, to wash the car. Okay, but you are not using what I, what I, what I explained you. Help me what in the car. Ah, okay. You need to take a look at the example. Okay, continue, please. Continue. What do you want to do? It? Again, más rapidito. Rapidito, rapidito, que viene la lluvia. Me teacher. Okay. Diga, diga, diga. To uh, Alex. Alex. Saldaña. Alex Saldaña, please. Um. I wonder if you let me your car, please. Sure. I wonder. I wonder if you let me your car, please. Let me your car or you borrow my car, your car. Okay, les dejo de tarea que busquen esos dos verbos. Lend borrow. and borrow. Lend borrow and borrow. Lend and borrow me. Ahí les queda, um, no, les queda de tarea que me investiguen el uso de eso. Ok, okay. lunes 7, Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura is not here with us. I don't know if somebody else wants to be uh, with me at the end of this session, please. Hello, teacher. Alguien que no haya pasado, if you want to. Teacher, hello. Otter, Yauta. Se fue, se fue la luz, me quedé sin wifi. No, te, le estamos oyendo, Walter. ¿Aún me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Fue la luz y me quedé sin wifi. Sí, ahorita le estamos oyendo, le estamos oyendo. Sí, El wifi claro. del vecino, ¿eh? Ok, 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 ok. Ok, necesito, I need volunteer. Una minuta. Una sesión. I don't know. I want to be. Alguien. La persona que tenía asignada para el día de hoy no está, que es Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Oh, Then, my God, teacher. In Santana, I come in the storm. Excuse me, Alex. I come in the storm here, teacher. Okay. Maybe I, I don't have the connection. Okay. Hello, hello. Ya comenzó la lluvia aquí. I, 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 I didn't hear you very well. Here is storm, teacher. There, too. Ya comenzó la lluvia ahí también. Yeah, earth, storm. Okay. Okay, we are almost done. Oh, yes, I'm looking for somebody else who wants to stay with me. Alguien que no haya participado en los 10 minutos. Juan, please. Who wants to be that person? Who wants to be? Me, teacher. Okay, Francisca Elizabeth. Okay. Great teacher. Okay. Good okay. night. 
I okay, think... uh, in order to finish, I would like to thank you to all of you. And I hope that you uh, learned something new. Espero que hayan aprendido algo nuevo. The main purpose of this uh, module is help you to you are doing uh, really well. And maybe you are able to be in another level, but well, I already made my, uh, did my report in order to, that you can be, but well, we need to keep waiting till somebody else is going to say something about it. For the reason, I invite you to study the, how we started, I don't know if you want that I share with you um, the, my presentation. No sé si le gustaría que les comparta la presentación de hoy. Is up to you. If you want it. No? Yes. Ah, only two. Only two. Yes. ¿Quiénes dijeron sí? Okay, only two. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Anteriores también, por favor. Ah, ok. Todas tres. las anteriores, por favor. Okay. ok, tres nada más. Cuatro. Sí, teacher, lo que pasa yes, yes. Yes. Si no, no tenemos yes. practicar. Okay. Yeah, if you don't want it, well. But if you want it, I can give you. Yeah. And also, I got extra material that I would like to share with you, but all the want to read it, I can share it with you. I have grammar books. I got uh, different kind of material that can help you prepare uh, to improve. But, but remember, we need to focus our attention in the books that this program is uh, gave you. What I'm offering you is just an extra material. Yeah. Lo importante, el principal, le vamos a poner principal atención al libro del programa. Y lo que les voy a dar, pues, material extra. Tiempo ya libre. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Gracias, espero verles mañana. Be careful because it's still uh, it's raining now. In some areas, we could have some fun. Be careful about that. Uh, if you can help to somebody that need something, just do it, please, because we never happen tomorrow, okay? Be careful, bye-bye, good night. Bye-bye, Good night. Oh, see you tomorrow. See you, see you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night, Good night, antes, antes de que se me olvide, para los que no se me han ido, hay algunos ahí que ya, los, ya están marcaditos. No me pueden fallar una vez más, que ya fallaron varias. Si fallan una vez más, perdemos. Así es que ahí, careful about that, please. Bye-bye, see you later. Okay, teacher, okay, okay. Okay, bye. Good night, teacher. Hi. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay, Francisco Elizabeth, could you please... Uh... Ah, okay. Teacher, ya se vino la lluvia, ya, ya no le oigo. Voy a, voy a apagar la, la cámara para... Para que ponerme en el oído la bocina del teléfono. <laughs> ok. Ok. Ok, en este minuto, uh, you, uh, you had the chance to ask me questions or any specific topic that you need to have extra information. Just let me know. Mm. What can I do for you? En este no. minuto extra. Uh, mm -hmm tiene la oportunidad de preguntarme sobre algún tema en específico o comentar lo que usted guste relacionado al módulo. Can you have can you have has a question for me? Mm, well, in my case, uh, what can I ask you? Uh, yeah, my, my, my question could be if if you understand all my explanation. When I when I give explanation, Hello. we con como como el último. 
Yeah, what I am asking you is that when I give an explanation, do you understand it? Do you comprende cuando yo explico algún tema? ¿Le cuesta o le es fácil? Yes, I understand. Ah, okay. okay. Maybe, maybe, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you have any question about a specific topic that we already started. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada mm. al tema específico que ya estudiamos. Or mm. everything is clear. I don't know what you mm. want to tell me. Maybe I don't understand infinitive. Two infinitive. Okay, how, how, where, or how we are going to use infinities? Ah, okay. I remember when we were talking about this topic, we were talking about vision and mission in the company. Do you remember that? ¿Se acuerda que estuvimos hablando de la misión y la visión? Sí. And yes. generalmente, uh, when we talk about vision and mission, it's going to start with an infinity. Generalmente van a comenzar con un infinitivo. Por ejemplo, dice to be, ya, yeah, ser, ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm ser a uh, to be a company where people can enjoy working ser una compañía donde las personas o los trabajadores disfruten hacer su trabajo valga la redundancia ya yeah? and you are going to start using the particular to to be por eso usamos eh, when we talk about infinity that means that we are going to use to before the main verb cuando usamos eh, la particular Okay. La parte infinitiva. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if I say, I want to tell you. I said to tell, to tell. Yo quiero decirle. I want to tell. Ese es un infinitivo. Y ahí no estoy usándolo al inicio. Lo estoy usando in the middle. I want to tell you this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Entonces, generalmente usamos eh, de esa forma el infinitivo. To write, yeah. to write a letter. Dice usted, my boss asked me to write a letter. Mi jefe me pidió que escribiera una carta o que escriba una carta. Yeah, and that way you are using infinity. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿Qué más? For me only. Only that? Yes, only that. Okay. Okay, no problem. Mm. I'm glad that you understand uh, all the information and that you do all, 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 all the tasks, all the homework in order that you can uh, go to the next uh, module, the next level for them. Mm -hmm. That is the main purpose, to help you a lot, in order that you can increase your knowledge and your vocabulary and the speaking too. Okay. I okay. Know. I don't know if you have something else to say, or not. No. No sé si tiene nothing. algo más que decir o ya estamos bien hasta ahí. No, para mí es, ahí estamos bien. No sé si usted tiene algo que preguntar. Ok, no, no. Solamente si ya hizo todas las tareas y ya vamos al día. Sí, bueno. Solo la de ahora me falta porque no habíamos venido a la clase. Sí. No, Pero todo usted... lo de la Eso lo hacemos el día de mañana. ¿sí? Ajá. Ok, excelente. Ok, thank you very much to spend this time with yeah. me. I hope, to see, I hope to see you tomorrow and bye bye. See you. Ok, see you.